Hey, what's up? So yeah, it's finally uh, freaking part nine of how to rebuild and port a rotary engine. So I've been gone for a freaking while. Like, freaking had problems with my internet and just been busy. Freaking haven't had the parts, but I finally got like all the parts I need to rebuild my engine here. So, anyways, I'm um, like last video I showed you guys uh, how to set up like the scribe lines to port your uh, exhaust port here. I kind of like just skipped ahead and uh, just did all the porting there on the freaking exhaust port there so you can kind of see it it's pretty good there so I just pretty much have to do some sanding on this one just to smooth it all out so you can see the lines where I was working on there like right now I got the other one in here just soaking in some Varsol here get it all clean freaking you can see that one's all done too so I don't know hopefully you guys don't get all mad I didn't uh, do the exhaust ports yeah, I'll go over uh, just everything I did though to do the porting on those just to show you guys. So it's pretty much just like more grinding like once you get the lines in there it's just all uh, working it down to the lines like with the other ports. So I got these ones all done. You've seen this one a while ago. That's my uh, intermediate iron there. Freaking got the rear iron all freaking ported here too. So that one's pretty decent there. Yeah, so uh, right now that's the front iron right there, it's all ported too, so pretty much all my porting's done, like I'm just getting them all clean, giving them a final clean, and uh, I'm gonna paint them all here, so you can see I got like high heat uh, friggin gloss black for like the irons there, and I like to use like this stuff here, it's uh, high performance like tire paint, but I got the graphite there, freaking looks pretty good on the rotor housings there, so Freaking just getting them cleaned right now. I'll go over uh, the exhaust ports there like in more detail. Show you how I did those. Alright, so uh, this is the exhaust port after it's finished. You can see it's pretty smooth. Like, just pretty much slopes up. Just up into there. Because uh, you can see in between, or in the back there, I mean, uh, there's that freaking exhaust sleeve there. So, pretty much they don't like really leave you a lot of room there. So, it's pretty much just bringing it up on an angle so it uh, still meets that uh, bottom edge of the friggin exhaust sleeve there so that's a pretty good shot of it right there so anyways I'm gonna go to a stock port and I'll freaking show you guys the difference there so so you can see here like there's not a huge difference cause like that's why I like this exhaust port cause uh, I figure it keeps up the torque with uh, smaller exhaust ports there so so like you start losing your torque and everything so like in a car that people like complain about having low bottom end torque like I don't figure it's a good idea to just start hacking up freaking huge exhaust ports there so you can see on this stock one here it's freaking pretty dirty but you can see on the edge how it has that uh, freaking little like beveled edge there freaking around it but you pretty much you have to like recreate that on your freaking port afterwards it's just for the apex seals to uh, keep from getting worn down so like helps uh, freaking when they're sealing and all that so it doesn't like slowly shave away little layers of the freaking uh, apex seal but anyways like <clears throat> you can see here like it's pretty much just flat there I'll hit my light for you get some more light in there yeah so it's like basically flat so pretty much when you start off you can see like these lines right there on both of them how it goes down so basically you're just bringing it all down here freaking on a slope for the aluminum like it's uh, pretty bad like when you're using those grinding stones they gum up pretty easy so I did like all of this uh, just with these little sanding bits like I change them a lot and like make sure you still wear safety glasses because these freaking things like explode and everything there so anyways just pretty much kept sanding her down I don't know that's uh, pretty much it yeah it's all like these ones go pretty quick compared to like the freaking irons and all that so it was like probably took me about like three hours or two and a half hours to get her to where it is now. So pretty much just gotta keep sanding it, freaking uh, get her all clean. So and then another thing I'm gonna do right here, see like where it says the 13B mods. I'm gonna uh, just use one of those sanding bits again and just freaking uh, sand that all down right here, freaking get that all nice and shiny. So then uh, after I paint it and the paint cures, freaking. Uh, I can sand it down again just on the letters and it stands out pretty nice like I did that on my other engine it turned out pretty good so just gonna uh, get cleaning these some more 
one thing I was gonna show you, like with the exhaust port, pretty much, uh, if you look, I'll try to get her lined up, but uh, like I grind it to uh, the edge of the port, the porting template here, and then uh, after it's all finished, that's when I put in that uh, little beveled edge, so like you do that just around the outside, friggin' uh, it's pretty like freaking crazy, because you don't really have any tape or anything protecting it, so just make sure you put down your tape on these across there, the duct tape, uh, to protect the face of the rotor housings there, so if you do all that, it's pretty good, so freaking yeah, I'm just gonna get back working. So once you got the exhaust ports done, uh, you gotta like go around, you can see how there's crud and shit from uh, where the coolant seal sat up against there, so uh, pretty much like, I just use a little wire wheel on a freaking uh, little angle grinder there. So I'm just gonna go around there, like uh, try not to go on the edge, freaking on the chrome face in there. So just go around, and clean all that crap all up, get it ready uh, for its final cleaning. All right, so I went around and uh, cleaned up all that. So you can see right here, just all around where the coolant seals were. There's a little bit of pitting and all that. So you just gotta watch out that it's not too deep, like. I'm gonna do something that uh, when I build my engine that some people might not agree with, but I did it on my uh, friggin' uh, red car's engine there. Like I put it friggin' just a little bit of silicone all around there, like so that's what this one guy said to do, like in the rebuild freaking thing I read when I did that engine there, and like haven't had any problems. Like he says he does it on them all the time. So, but you just put the uh, thin layer of silicone uh, gasket maker all around there too, like freaking when you're building the engine there so freaking it'll seal it all up nice and freaking uh, tight so once you get both those sides done too you flip it over and uh, just go around here on the exhaust port where the freaking uh, turbo bolts up there so freaking get that all nice and clean and then uh, it's pretty much just ready for its final soak like the other one there so get that freaking done get going alright so I got the other side clean here and you can see there's a little bit of uh, some deeper pits on this one so uh, what you do for those pretty much is this style, uh, like get some JB stick weld. Freaking this. Yeah, this is the stuff I use, it's uh, just JB freaking high heat stick weld crap. So freaking once it goes, it's good to uh, 600 PSI at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's freaking pretty good. But you just pretty much want to just put a little dab in the holes there, just in the uh, sander down flat, just so. Don't have to worry because that one's kind of close to right where the coolant seal is. But really, it wouldn't matter if it's that silicone. But uh, if you just want to be like right anal about it, freaking do that cap. So, anyways, this one's all ready to go for its freaking soak. Should be good to go. And then uh, after, I can uh, get it ready to paint. All right, so I got the finished iron here. It's freaking pretty decent port there. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing with that uh, wire wheel. Freaking go around the edge on here. And then do right where the intake manifold bolts up to it right there. Down in here, just get that all freaking cleaned up. So this one's already had its last soak there. So once I do that, I just gotta go around and clean the coolant grooves and this one's pretty much ready to freaking get painted. All right, so I swapped out that uh, other freaking rotor housing. This was the one that was soaking. So it's pretty much all freaking done. Like. Right now I'm just going to uh, sand this all down right here and freaking that's pretty much all that's left to do. Got all the sides clean and freaking here the exhaust freaking and turbo manifold all go. So the port came out pretty good on this one too. So see like I got to do some more sanding on it too but that, if I can do all that tonight. Alright so I went over it real quick just with this uh, little sanding bit now so I'm just going to go with these little flapping sanding bits it'll take it down a little bit smoother there and uh, it's pretty much good to go. See so now I got that smoothed down pretty good so uh, once I paint it I'll let the paint uh, dry and like cure nice and good and then uh, they'll just go back and sand that off again now that it's all like level it'll make it a lot quicker so like pretty much just like a quick zip across and uh, then you'll have nice shiny letters. So yeah, look all nice. Alright, so I got my irons here. They're all freaking clean, freaking uh, street ported and all that, ready to go. So uh, freaking uh, right now I'm just going to set them all up and uh, get them ready to get painted and all that. So I'll put them up like, and use the dowels and uh, set them so it's just the three irons together. And then you can paint them and then uh, like if any paint seeps through a little bit, you can uh, just clean it up with a Scotch-Brite pad. But... 
get those put up there and I'll show you just like everything that I'm going to be taping off and stuff once it's all done. So should be a couple more minutes for that. So there you go. That's how you rebuild a uh, Porter rotary engine right there. So no, I'm just kidding actually. So I freaking I put in these old housings right here and uh, just put in like two tension bolts, like one at the bottom, one at the top there. So freaking. Anyways, uh, it holds it all like nice and tight together. Yeah, so I'm gonna go around and uh, cover up everything on the iron side. I don't want uh, to get painted like the thread holes and uh, all these like freaking hole bolt holes. And like tape off this front cover and the freaking uh, water freaking pump housing freaking thingamajig there. But then like tape off the ports obviously and just down there freaking all in there. And the two ports for the injectors and all that. So pretty much anything you don't want to get painted just go down and tape off. Alright so I just went around and taped everything off so I ended up having an old front cover I'm just going to stick on the front there and still mess around and taping that off but you can see the ports all taped off and injectors and all that but I didn't really do anything here because I'm not going to paint in there because that's like where the clutch and the flywheel all go so anyways yeah I'm just about to give her the first uh, coat of paint there so I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Yeah, so I got that all freaking painted, so there's a couple coats on there, I'm just waiting for it to dry now. Try to get in the light more so you can see her better. Looks pretty good so far, so the irons are pretty much done now, so I'm just going to uh, clean up the freaking uh, rotor housings and get them ready to get all painted. Alright, so I'm just taking this part now after the paint's all dried up a bit, so you can see like, there's barely any like seepage through there, so you can Turn my light on. There's like a little trail right there. Is all pretty much I actually see. So it's pretty good. Freaking right. All right. So I got the irons. I got a nice freaking uh, coat of jet black paint or whatever the frick it is. But so yeah, I'm just gonna be moving on to my uh, rotor housings now. So they're all freaking ready to go. So I'm just gonna set that back up with those housings there. So hold on. So I'll just use those old housings now. Freaking. There's a bit more of a gap on these, so I'll just have to like not spray a whole shitload in the cracks there, but I don't know, I'll give those a good coat and I'll show you what that uh, graphite paint looks like. Alright, so I got a couple coats on there, so I'm just waiting for that to dry. So once those are dry, I'll uh, stick them all together and I'll show you what it'll look like with the like paint scheme and all that. So it turned out pretty good, I think, so I'll just uh, wait for that shit. Yeah, I can show you guys what it'll look like uh, once it's all freaking done. So uh, the paint goes together pretty good, I think. So let's move around, you can see it all. So like I'll do like the front cover, like that uh, freaking graphite cover color there, and uh, just like the water pump housing. I usually do black. It looks pretty good. Freaking, it's basically the same uh, design I have on my uh, red cars engine. But yeah, so pretty much everything's ready to go. Tomorrow I'm uh, gonna like get the rotors all prepped and everything for the build so pretty much just uh, get the rotors prepped and freaking I can start building it. Well I guess so then I'll uh, come back tomorrow freaking prep the rotors and uh, finish off this video.